What if we could really defeat a chronic disease instead of just treating its symptoms? What if no one would ever get asthma and food allergies wouldn't exist anymore? What if we could fix chronic kidney disease once and for all? To make this all possible, we need to enter a whole new era of care. At Utrecht University's Division of Pharmacology, we are setting the right example. Our focus is not on the treatment of diseases and disorders, but on their prevention. By developing new ways to protect people from health threats instead of fighting their harmful consequences. In cases where the damage has already been done, we look for ways to regenerate organs rather than using drugs to simply lengthen their lifespan. And the solutions are closer than you'd expect. They could be living in our seas, growing in a forest nearby, or might even be found in the food that you eat. Fighting immune-related diseases can become a real possibility. We only need to look to nature for inspiration. Take kidney failure. Despite our long experience with dialysis as a treatment option, it's only a means of survival, not a cure. If we could find a way to create bio-artificial kidney tubes, that would enable us to fully restore an important part of the kidney's function. So that's what we set about doing. We started with a plastic tube. In order to attach kidney cells to it, we first needed to learn a lesson from muscles. Muscles are good at staying in place because they use a specific amino acid to form a layer of glue. Copying their technique enables us to stick cells to synthetic materials. The tube itself could be made with a 3D printer, but would then lack the porosity that's found in healthy kidneys. This time, what we needed was some spinach. We stripped off the plant's own cells, leaving us with its decellularized structure. These so-called petioles could then be used as scaffolding in the process of bioengineering kidney tubes. This is just one example of how, with the help of nature, modern-day pharmacology is capable of finding new ways to deal with chronic and, as of yet, incurable diseases. Nature's inspiration is endless, and it's up to us to reap the fruits. <laughs>